what is up you guys it is wednesday morning don't mind my lashes they're insane Jawan and i have honestly been all over the place the past honestly few weeks um traveling busy all that stuff got up super early this morning he went to practice i am also up because i never fall back asleep when he gets up to go to practice we are kind of just gonna show you guys a little bit of a day in the life this is tragic a little bit of a day in the life we aren't super super wildly busy this week so it's kind of a perfect week because all the other weeks are just not realistic like well our life is honestly so busy that we are busy 24 7 honestly but like we wanted to show you a good day-to-day -day, day in the life it's a practice i'm at home i just ordered myself some breakfast i ordered my favorite restaurant ruby slipper i have been cooking so much recently i've been so proud of myself but i'm just not in the mood today i am not um i'm gonna make some food i'm gonna do some grocery shopping i should probably get my dogs their flea medicine film some tiktoks and Jawan's gonna be at the facility for a while and he's gonna come home we'll probably film tiktoks together um do we have anything tonight oh i might go to yoga tonight actually i don't know if i'm in the mood anymore i just woke up and i don't know if i'm in the mood anymore i need to do better about working out i really do and it'll be fun um but yeah so that's the day stay tuned for Juwan and i's separate days and then at the end of the day we'll be back together but yeah honey honey Okay, I just got my food and I kind of hate myself because I was a little bit rude to the dude who gave me the food. I am just so bothered by how freaked out people get by my literal French dog. Like, I was, I was walking up to the gate, like, I'm just respectful. So, like, if my dogs are out, you know, in the gate, like, it, outside in the front yard, I'm going to walk to the gate and get the food rather than making the dude walk into the gate and give me the food by my chair that I'm sitting in. Over to the gate, picked up my food, was like, thank you. He's like, yeah, I'm definitely not going in that thing. Like, as if my gate is this, like, cage to lions. And it's <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not going in that thing. It's like, huh? And he's like, yeah, I'm not going in that. And I was like, oh with these little dogs and he was like no no way and i was like that's okay because like i'm here he's like yeah and i was like right and then i like looked at hendrix and i was like oh, a french bulldog <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh stop i did not mean to be that rude but i literally was like oh, a french bulldog he kind of was like walking away at the time and i think it made him a little bit upset but i was like bro why are we that petrified of a french bulldog so rude and anyways that happens a lot that happens a lot no but i never tell anybody to come into the house but anytime they like walk by the gate and my frenchie is like literally at the gate trying to like stare at them they're like <gasps> and i'm like bro what he's a frenchie and he's staring at you and he's going <gasps> like what what is wrong here like i'm just so confused i would also love to make a statement that doordash is where it's at like I literally love DoorDash so much. We are busy people, so I Uber, not Uber, see there I go, saying other things. I get DoorDash a lot, and the reason is, is because I got the Dash Pass, whatever, where you get free deliveries for like everything you get. Why is there like sauce in there? Oh, it's probably coffee. Um, I get Dash Pass because then it's free delivery. And that's incredible, right? I'm not sure, I'm sure every other service does that too. And every single time I have an issue, like um, they didn't have half of my order. And that happens a lot, you know, when you order in New Orleans, they really don't pay much attention to stuff. And um, I didn't get my one of my sides, so like whatever. I submitted it in the um, thing, I was like, oh, I just didn't get my sides. And they literally, always give you like DoorDash credit or a, a re refund, like $3 or whatever, they, whatever it was that you missed, they immediately give it back, which on like Postmates or like other things, if you say like, oh, like I have a missing item, you have to like go on a phone call and it like, it's this whole process. But on DoorDash, they literally just do it for you right then and there. And it's so nice. Cause it's like, I'm not mad. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and wait for another bacon slice, but like, 
I appreciate that you guys are accommodating to when that does happen. I lied, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens a lot. I feel like anytime you like order food, that's bound to happen, but um, I still do it anyway because I love ordering food. So it's braised short rib with poached eggs and hollandaise sauce. They do it like this because they don't want it to get soggy. But I'll show you when it's all put together. I have some editing to do today. The lighting's better over here. I also have emails to do and just different things like that. Ah! I'm also going to be collabing with a local dermatologist that I'm obsessed with here. I get my Botox from her. Look how good it is. Nothing. Anyways. Oh good. It's called New Orleans Aesthetics. And I have been breaking out. I've, if you guys have been following my TikTok and Instagram for a minute, you would know. Oh, that's so much better. After my miscarriage, my skin has been suffering so bad. So bad. And it's weird because I really haven't had acne in a long time. Granted, I was on spirolactine for a while. I used to have acne like in college, like high school, college. And my skin's been great. But then... I got pregnant and the first few weeks of pregnancy my skin was bad it did get bad but then it went away and it was like the hormonal change whatever but then i feel like i'm just over here like making things up for myself but i'm pretty sure that when we lost the baby my body was trying to like make up for extra hormones or something i don't know i'm making this up but when i got when i had the miscarriage my skin broke out and i've always had issues with my skin for a long time and i always told myself that when i can afford to get some kind of treatment on it, like a laser, peels, stuff like that, I'm going to do it. And I'm really excited to walk you guys along with that journey for me because I just am not dealing with this anymore. I'm just not. I'm gonna start going in this week or next week and I'm going to start taking care of my skin, taking care of my acne. It's gonna be great, I'm gonna feel confident, I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, walking you through that. And when I say acne, like I understand that I don't have the worst acne in the world, but it is protrusive. Is that a word? Protruding. It protrudes. No, it's just not my jam. And I want to like feel confident and cool and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do today is also call and make that appointment. I've been starting watching Criminal Minds and I don't even know if I like it. Everyone tells me that I would love it and I love like crime stuff. But like the first few episodes were very scary. And I was like, ooh, like scary as in like sinister scary. And I was like, ugh. I didn't sign up for that. I would rather see crime than something sinister any day. I can watch crime shows. I can watch thrillers. I can watch, you know, action movies. But when it comes to anything sinister, bye. My life. Uh, stay tuned for what we do next. Um, I'm not even sure what John's doing today. What is he even filming? I'm here a little early just because I already know that my body needs that stretching. I'm over here watching film too. And yeah, just trying to, you know, Get my mind right, everything's good. Make sure I'm sharpening my mind. Going over film now, what we have practice tomorrow. Well, yesterday, I mean, going over what we had practice yesterday. Bro, so I'm about to show y'all now what goes on throughout the day. Two more days left, and then next week is vet mini camp. Make sure our body's right, making sure our mind is right. Um, so super excited, I mean, it's, it's been super good so far. We're just trying to make sure we all good here, you know? So we just got done stretching, food afterwards, a little bit of tubs, getting to the pool, getting that hot tub, hot tub, cold tub, and just trying to get the body right, making sure it's good. It's supposed to be good for like recovery. Um, if you end in cold, that means like you're done. But if you end in hot, that means like you're trying to prepare for something. So about to get in there, get right. Look at that beautiful turf. We don't be out there though. We be in the heat. So let's go check out this food. Mm. That's how you get right. That's how you get right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Henny, you're so scary. You just scare so many people, my Henny. 
Just kidding. So many people as in the DoorDash guy today. Not him. Not him. Not the sweet little one. Not the baby. No way. This boy will not do anything. He's so scared of everything in the world. He cries when he hears noises at night. He has bad dreams every night. He's so sweet and scared all the time. Henny, don't. Don't even think about it. Just filmed so many TikToks, literally doing a story time. I like got on this story time like grind just now and talked about literally everything under the sun about being an NFL wife. So I guess if you need some tips and tricks on being an NFL wife, rookie year or whatever I was talking about, stay tuned because ooh, there it goes. That's what I was talking about. I was literally discussing how Juwan and I literally made some of the stupidest decisions of our lives when he was a rookie. We're buying this house. Um, before he was even like really officially on the team. I don't know why we did that. Actually, it was all me. It was my fault. That's why we did it. <sighs> I really should have done better. I shouldn't have, you know, done that. But thankfully, he stayed on the team, so it's like fine. But there's a lot of people, like, it is not uncommon. And it's not bad either. It's not bad. And that's what people are, are not understanding. It's not uncommon to get cut and then to put somewhere else or things like that. Traded or whatever all that stuff is, like, the thing about the NFL is you never know where you're going to end up. And I feel like as soon as you get comfortable, don't get comfy. Just don't get comfy. I just made some stupid decisions. And if I would have like had some smart smartness in me, I would have realized that I shouldn't have put money down on a house. But we did. And thankfully, we stayed on the team. But if we didn't, we would have been paying for this place. I'm sorry, it was a lease. So we would have been paying rent on this place for a year in somewhere else. It could have just been really bad. You know what I mean? But... It worked out, so I can't be that mad at it, but I just don't want people to make the stupid decisions that I made, so I always tell rookie wives, oh, ow, my cramps. Rookie wives, don't do what I did, ever. Nothing that I did, you should do, nothing, ever. But learn from me, you know? Size fit. We like Canal Place if you're like doing nice stuff shopping, but this I just wanted a cheap pair of jeans and I couldn't find any. Avoid it. Ew, it still smells weird, huh? That's what you do when you wash some dishes? No, when you get caught off guard. That's what you do. <laughs> Alright guys, it's been a few weeks. We honestly have been so busy that we haven't filmed, of course. Have a crazy little few days that we decided to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We did some shopping and some bowling. Some bowling. We even did some bowling together, which was fun. We did some bowling. That's in the next video. Yeah, which mm -hmm. we will show you guys. Yep. But we hope you enjoyed. We're excited to get back on YouTube and show you guys our daily lives. Yeah. And we have a lot going on in the next few weeks, so stay tuned. We're going to do a lot of traveling. It's going to be fun. But like... Follow, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.